Yo, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. It's your boy Tay, and I'm back with another banger. Wavy Mob, welcome back to OS Tay. It's your boy Tay, and again, I'm back with another John Wick style banger, you dig? And as you can see, I'm at work, but we back in the car. We back in the car, back to the basics, you dig what I'm saying? So, without further ado, today I'm doing uh, NBA Unpopular Opinions. So, it's just some of my opinions that I have about the NBA that I feel like could someone have some truth to it, but I want to see, wait my, what's your opinion, girls or uh, males, females or males? I want to see what's your opinion on what I have to say. So, without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications so you know when the waviest channel on YouTube posts a video. You dig what I'm saying? So, without further ado, let's get right, right into it. Topic number one. DeMarcus Cousins said he would be on um, KG's podcast. He said he'll be top three. I disagree, but only one spot. I feel like if Boogie Cousins got the minutes and playtime and actually got connected with his teammates, he can give you at least still 20 and, 20 and 10. And yes, y'all going to bash me in the comments saying that's all-star numbers. But... This man, DeMarcus Cousins, slim DeMarcus Cousins, he may not have, he still has the strength, don't get me wrong, but it may not be like how heavy Boogie Cousins was, but he's more agile now, so I feel like he can give you 20 and 10. And I know my boy Jerry, where was somebody yesterday, I know he's going to be like, tell you, tweaking. But I'm telling you, if he gets in a rhythm with a team, he can give you, if not 20 and 10, 15 and 10. Sorry, y'all. I turned my radio off. At least cool 15 and 10. And that's beneficial to any championship team, any team really. 15 points is a, it's not a lot of points, but it's a lot of points for the road that Marcus Cousins probably will be playing. And it's probably backup center or if he is starting center. Like I said, I feel like if he is starting center, he can give you 20 and 10 or 20 and 9. No, 20 and 10. He's 6 11, bro. So I think he can give you 20 and 10 easy. <laughs> Number two, unpopular opinion. John Wall should be in the NBA. I'm sorry to say it, but there's no way he has a skill set to be back off DeMarcus Cousins. If Pat Bev is in the league, if Draymond is in the league giving you four points a game, yeah, he might be facilitating, but we all have seen it. It's not, he's not the same Draymond. So my thing of it is, how can Draymond Green have a job, but Boogie Cousins can't? How can Pat Bell have, have a job when he's really only defense, and he can score, but he's really done for defense? But John Wall is one of the one of one of uh, one of the elite passers in our league, but he can't get a job. But Ricky Rubio can get a job, and Ricky Rubio's job is literally to pass the fucking ball. Like, so I'm trying to figure out how these dudes can have a job but John Wall can't because he can still facilitate and he can score like this shit don't make this shit don't make sense cause it's like how can these dudes have a job but a dude that can give you 15 and 9 in his sleep don't have a job a dude that can give you 15 and 10 or 20 and 10, Boogie Cousins can, can give you that, but no job. But niggas like Alex Lance in the league, Dario Saric, like Dario Saric ain't played an NBA game in so long, bro, because he's been injured. I, don't get it, I get it, injury, cool, that's smooth. Unpopular opinion number three. Iman Shepard and J.R. Smith 
and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna combine them all together because I'm, I'm trying to try make this a, a nice, nice lengthy video. Carmelo Anthony, J.R. Smith, and Iman Shepard should have jobs in the NBA. They all three have skill sets. J.R. is a shot creator. You, J.R. Smith is a once in a uh, once in pun time talent. You do not get a person that can wake up and do a 363 and make it nothing but net. It's not hitting rim at all. We don't have that today. Like we don't have excuses like that. You don't have players that can score, but has the attitude to okay, I'ma do what he needs, what my team needs me to do in a mind shepherd. Don't get it fucked up. Go watch his highlights at, at Georgia Tech. Iman Shepard is a bucket. You do not forget to how to be a bucket ever when you're a bucket. IT is a bucket. Now, I understand a little bit. IT shouldn't be out of the league either, but I understand more because he's just really because his size. If he was a taller, he'd be okay. I get it. Carmelo Anthony should be in the league. I wish the Lakers picked him back up. But, like I said, what the NBA fails to do is they don't allow people to be buckets. But you have bucket getters. You have niggas that literally just score and don't do shit else. But people that are known to do that can't get a job, which makes zero, zero sense to me. Because Carmelo is a bucket. And you see videos of him being a bucket. Where there's Hoodie Melo in the gym. I know there's no, no defense in that open runs him actually dropping 30 something 30 something in portland like this nigga should not have to be blackballed out of the nba to retire just because somebody will pick him up brian pick him up bro you watch what you do bro and he was he'll take a minimum bro most of these niggas will take minimums to play in the nba but they don't have jobs but you got niggas with bigger egos than them that fell off 20 years ago that still have fucking jobs. That makes zero I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever to me. Like zero sense, I swear to God. Mello is a walking mid-range god. If DeMar DeRozan ends in the league, and don't get me wrong. And reason I'm comparing to, because both have the same skill set. Melo can shoot threes at a higher clip than DeMar DeRozan. But if you put Melo in the post or the face-up game like DeMar DeRozan, he's in the league. Yes, he's younger. I get it. I understand that. But both of them have a mid-range skill set that is compared to none. Melo face up game and back down game is one of the top. He's gonna be. He's one of the best scorers on the planet right now. Because face up or post game, nobody is fucking with him. Back to Iman Shepard. You got guys like Draymond Green, who's the soul and heart of the team, and Pat Bev, but you can't put Iman Shepard in the league, who is literally sacrificed. Oh, he could have stayed in New York and been a bucket. No championships. Then he would have been out of existence. But now we can say, oh, he guarded likes of Clay Thompson and did a damn good job at it. He guarded likes of Curry. But Curry's a bucket, but he did a decent job at it. Like, so it's like these niggas can have jobs, but the dudes that are literally training and working for what they need to do, they can have jobs. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. JR. Like I said, it's literally a walking bucket. Shit, Deion Waiters, bro. Deion Waiters is literally a walking, talking, shot creating bucket. But these dudes, I believe, Mario Chalmers, a bucket and can facilitate. And so many dudes that people say, oh, they can't play in league right now. I bet you if I put them in league right now, they will go crazy. And I'm not saying 30 points a game, but they can have a game like that. They can have a game with a Lou Will game. They can have Melo can definitely have a Lou Will game. A mind shape will have, will have to go to a team like the Magic or something to show that he's a bucket because go back and watch the Georgia Tech highlights. You will see this man is a bucket. 
and can facilitate. He can be your backup point guard that can play shooting guard and small forward. He's tall enough. Like, that's the crazy part about it. But that's really the end of the video of my unpopular opinions. NBA unpopular opinions. I want to say thank you for all the love and support. It's your boy Tay, and I'm out again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on post notifications so you know when the wave is shown on YouTube. Post a video. You did. I also like the video. You did. I mean, it should be. I meant. I love y'all. Thank y'all for the love and support. I'm Pablo Pinions, and I'm out. Bow. Hello. In your YBA.